balance the body, keep mobility in the spine, hopefully reduce any uh, aches or pains that you may have and prevent injuries. So we're going to start in all fours. So whether you have a yoga mat or not doesn't matter. You can do it on the floor on a towel or a rug or carpet. Um, without shoes or socks is better just for grip and um, balance. So we'll start on hands and knees. When your hands are on the floor or the mat, fingers are spread nice and wide. And you're pushing into your fingertips and the knuckles to prevent too much pressure on your wrists. Hands are shoulder distance and knees are hip width. Check that you're not too close together here and shortening your torso. Keep your torso nice and long. And just to stretch and warm up the wrists a little, we'll just do some circles moving forward as we inhale, back as we exhale. As you breathe in, you'll feel the connection of the fingertips and the knuckles. So keep that connection like you're gripping onto the mat. Inhale forward, exhale back. You're getting a little warm up in the, the wrists and the hips here. If there's any issues with the knees, just place a folded blanket underneath the knee. go in the opposite direction breathe in deeply as well so you're maintaining the mind body connection through the breath the breath and the movement are synchronized and then back to the center We'll move deeper into the spine now. I'm sure you've done or seen cat and cow exercise before. It's so beneficial for stretching the front and the back of the torso, the hips and the low back, releasing tension, but most importantly, creating space in your spine and between your vertebrae, keeping your spine healthy so your whole central nervous system is healthy so your body works efficiently and optimally. As you breathe in, Tilt the pelvis so you're sticking your bum out, drop your belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the chin. So you should feel a stretch in the abdomen here and the throat. As we exhale, tuck the chin, round in the spine. So you feel space in between your vertebrae here. Breathe in, drop the belly, lift the chin, arch the spine. Breathe out, tuck the chin, round the spine. Close your eyes and see, can you really tune into the movement and breath together? And we'll do five or six more rounds. Well done. Come back to the center and place the right hand uh, up into the air and then exhale we're going to thread it underneath the left and reach out. Inhale reach the right hand up to the sky as you lean back and exhale thread it under the left and reach out as far as you can. Creating lots of mobility in the Upper spine, thoracic spine. Inhale, reach up, exhale. And then move to the other side. Moving with your breath, keep your face relaxed and the breathing deep. Inhale, exhale. This would be a great exercise to take a few minutes before you start work in the morning to do. Take some little breaks throughout your day. You can do it in four or five minutes or in the evening to release tension 
out of the body from your day before bed. Done and come back to the center. Take a moment again just to shake the hips side to side. Connect with the core now. So hugging the belly button back towards the spine. So sucking in the belly. Lengthen the left leg back. Lifting the left leg if you have room. Pointing the toes. If this is enough, stay here or lengthen the right arm. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And then exhale back down and swap sides. The right leg back. You can stay there if that's enough. You're still working your core muscles here. So if you're injured or your core is very weak and you know you need to rebuild it, just stay here and breathe and connect with your core again. Or lift the leg for a little bit more challenge. Lift the opposite arm for the last challenge. Actually, breathing, remembering to breathe is the most challenging part. And then come back down. Well done. Bring the feet together and the knees wide. We're going to come into like a moving child's pose. Nice stretch for the low back here. Hips are moving back as far as you can, knees as wide as you can. If you have tight clothing on, jeans or trousers, it probably won't feel as good as maybe tracksuit or shorts. Inhale, come forward, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, sit back. You can always use some props here under the feet or kind of um, in between the knees, under the knees or behind the knees. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more times. And then the last time you're going to sit back and stay here for a few moments. If the head doesn't reach the floor easily, use a cushion or something to prop it up so that your head can be bringing the floor up. Or you can use your arms as a pillow. Try to keep the hips moving back, the knees wide, the belly relaxed. Use as much props as you need to, cushions, blankets behind the knees, under the knees, under the head, and try to relax the head down. Reach the arms forward if your head does come down to the floor. Relax the belly, relax the shoulders. Relax the weight of the head towards your prop or the floor. Try to close the eyes and connect with your breath again. So you're breathing slowly and deeply. Inhale to come up, walk the knees forward, come over to a comfortable seat, lengthen the spine, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, twist the torso to the right, right hand comes just behind, left hand towards the right knee, turn the head back as far as it's comfortable and breathe. In 
inhale to the center, reach the arms up, exhale to the left. It can just be a gentle twist if you feel super tight in the back. Or you can go a little bit deeper by bringing the hand to the knee and twisting to bring the head back. And come back to the center. Close the eyes. Just take a moment of stillness here. A couple of deep breaths. Open the eyes when you're ready. Thank you for joining me. Well done.